Hey everyone, today I wanted to bring you guys some Lee Sin Big Bear. Now, you're going to see my usual intro coming up here soon, but first I wanted to kind of interject and show you guys that I've made it all the way to top 10 with this deck on the America Ladders. Uh, so we got to about 600 LP, really fun deck, really challenging, and really fun. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the games coming up soon in this video, because I think this deck actually has quite a bit of potential. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys some proof that this deck actually works. Hey everybody, so Jimmy here again. Uh, today I wanted to bring you a little bit of a spice that I found in Movalytics. Uh, I don't know who the original creator of this deck was, but I was looking through Movalytics data and I saw this Victor Lee Sin deck show up. Now, at first, the combination doesn't make sense, but then you realize just how quickly you're able to level up Lee Sin because of the free head score upgrades from Victor and because he lets you also play a Ballistic Bot, giving you access to the Ignition every turn to also quickly level up Lee Sin. So, the way that this deck works out is that you kind of just playing through value. You're playing through the value from Victor, the value from the Ballistic Bot, um, and slowly level up this scene. And now you don't have the overwhelmed least scene win condition that you have from all least in Zoe, but you're able to do so much poke damage from Ballistic Bot Ignition, uh, from Victor getting some random good keyword, from Pearl Cannons doing Elusive, uh, that you end up not needing the overwhelm. You're able to just slowly grind them down and just finish up with Lee Sin. Uh, we even play one of ambush just in case that we want to get like a surprise win condition, right? I'll show you guys about seeing all the Victor Riven and all the uh, mono PNC Victor decks running around that just went through ambush. The rest of this deck uses a lot of spells that are both creative cards and also just help us level up Lee Sin quickly. Stuff like Poro Cannon, right? It's a spell that counts for Lee and it gives you two daring portals to progress up the Victor. Uh, we talked about Ballistic Bot already, how good it can be. One ambush can be really good as well. Calculator creation is another way to create some spells as well as make sure that you're able to get a Ballistic Bot down on the field if you don't get one of your natural ones. I have the Dragon, a way to stall, and we have plenty of spells triggers here, especially if you get both a Ballistic and either Dragon at the same time or either Dragon and Victor, then you get a free spell trigger every time. Three Mystic Shock, because at the end of the day, we are trying to grind the opponent down, and we might as well just play some burn to be able to get us do that. And it can also hit some of the opponent's key units. A time trick, really great way to guarantee that we can draw the least sin. Three twin, simple. Archivist is the one that I'm unsure about, but I actually still kind of testing out with it because Archivist gives you access to be able to get some of your other cards, right? And the Archivist spell gets also uh, discounted by a level of vector. So Archivist is more like a late game kind of kind of card that you use, uh, but it can also be a really good you know unit early on. Uh, you can always discard what you get from her by doing the Pearl Cannon. Two Concussive Palm, just be able to protect against, like I said, all the Ambush decks running around um, and Panting decks. Although, this, I might actually go to three on this. Um, I'm probably going to keep refining this deck list even after the video. But, you know, for now, I'm just going to show you guys the deck list that I took all the games with. Um, but definitely like Concussive Palm a lot in this deck. So probably going to go to three. Three Deny to start the Jodeline Arms and any Concerted Strike from, like, the Master decks. Uh, one Refuge, right? Our units can get really big really quickly. Big Turn Ballistic Bot. Uh, so just in case that we run into aggro and we don't get into we don't get our eye of the dragon, then we kind of have an alternate a spirit refuge here to help us out because we can draw into it with something like the meditation. And then our champions, Victor, again levels up really quickly, gives us the free spell every time. Lee Sin can level up quickly in this deck and then can just be able to come in as a constant removal threat against the opponent. And then the meditation is just finally there to kind of give us some draw. So again, this deck is kind of like a combo deck. Um, really fun way of playing Lee Sin. I'm going to keep playing around with this because I actually think he has some potential here um, because you can play both for Lee Sin and the Ambush Big the Win Condition. So really fun. Um, hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, to subscribe to us. It will help us out a lot. And if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to drop a like below. I'll see you all at the end of the video for some mulligan tips. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against ooh, Lulu Fist Yorolina. So how do I beat this? Now we do have like some removal. We have the deny to be able to beat the Yorolina arms. If we start like this, I don't mind the Mystic Shot. I have the dragon would be the best thing here, but the Mystic Shot might save me early on. The problem is that we don't have a way to remove the Lulu. Oh, there we go. And we get the other dragon. So the other, oh, he discarded a mystic shot. Okay, so for you guys, you actually can just skip, right? You don't have to actually choose 
So you don't have to actually choose like a car to this car with the sunny urchin. You can just pass, you know? So I'm very surprised that he did it that way. Uh, here we're gonna have to mystic, double mystic shot the Lulu. So we're gonna double mystic shot the Lulu because uh, we don't want to lose to a Chumpers. Lulu's way too important for us not to deal with her right now. Um, we need to just do this right now, I think. I think, yeah, we could, we could have summon the Victor first. Uh, but I think it's fine not to summon him right away. I think we can just do an act because I didn't want to have to, like, you know, attack into nothing. I'd rather take that two damage that we took here. Now we can start working on the Victor. We have the Elusive, which is huge. Um, we can do Stun right here and do the Head Score upgrade. So the idea here is that we're going to do the Stun and the, have the Head Score upgrade as a backup. Fearsome is pretty good. Ooh, okay, okay. He should pull right now. He got greedy. He needed to pull right now. Uh, so that we couldn't do this. Because now we have a blocker here. This is going to trigger anyways. Uh, this is kind of annoying though. Because he'll be able to do like a mystic shot to kill this. I'm going to give him the chance to decide which one he wants to kill. If he wants to kill the other dragon or kill the victor. Oh, he's going to go. Okay, um. Do we give him the chance to kill the Victor? I don't think we do. I think we just take this damage. Because we can have a second eye. I don't think I want to give him the option of killing Victor right here. So we just do the second eye. And we summon two Dragonlings. He's going to have to just kill one of the other dragons right now. Yeah, there you go. He had to get excited. So that's why I didn't want to give him the chance to be able to kill the Victor. Um... Here, I don't mind doing the Lee Sin. We'll do the head score upgrade just in case that we get something valuable like lifesteal. And he also gives us the challenger. The Fury is pretty good. Uh, the Fury is pretty good. Um, hmm. What if we just actually pull? That will give me... I think we pull. I think we pull. I think we pull the elusive. We pull the elusive. And pull this guy, maybe? Because we're going to have another uh, the dra another dragon link. We definitely want to pull one of these guys. I just don't know which one to pull. Ooh. I, I like this. I like doing the chumpers. I like doing the chumpers because the chumpers is going to be a little bit too uh too much for us. Be able to pull like some of our units away. We have a blocker for the elusive anyways. So it's not a big deal. Uh, we'll get another dragon link. We have the knife for the Yodelin arms, right? So we're not scared by Yodelin arms. This listen is going to be leveled up and we can slowly remove the rest of his stuff, right? Uh, this is kind of annoying because that's gonna get rid of the dragon link uh, of the of the eye of the dragon. That's actually really annoying. Yeah. So as long as we have as long as we have enough mana to do uh, the deny, we'll be fine. And there it is. And this is why Ion is so good versus Jorolin Arms test because we can stop their big power play. So here we stopped his big power play. While also leveling up this Lee Sin and giving Lee Sin the barrier. We're also getting very close to leveling up at Victor as well. Next up we have another Lee Sin. Oh, and we had we look at the challenger. Challenger is huge. And he cannot even do anything. Let's do this first. Let's see what we get. Lifesteal. Perfect. We have the challenger, remember, right? And we also have the challenger from the Lee Sin, so he the opponent has the opponent's gonna be in a tough spot here. Cause we can just pull, 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 right? Moon glow. But we can just challenge it.
Why? Why Moon Glow? Huh. We can just challenge that, right? By using the Lee Sing Sonic Wave. Because we can just kill... Uh, well, no, 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 no. We cannot, right? But there's no way for us to kill this. So all we can do is just try to get rid of the Elusives. And just slowly go, slowly go like this. I mean, we're going to be able to fully heal anyway. So we just go like this. We just kill this guy. As long as we kill the Elusives, I don't see how he's going to be able to beat us. I don't think it's, I don't think we have to go for lethal just yet, right? This gives us another eye of the dragon. So that's a, that's the two cards that he got from that strip star star strip peak. We got the serpent, he got the moon glow. Um, we still get the eye of the dragon. We still have the life steal here. This is gonna level up. There should be no way for him to win this. I'm willing to level him up right now before he's able to do like a get excited on it. Again, we have the elusive, so I'm okay. We even get quick attack. So we got the quick attack challenger combo. So this is pretty good now because we can just slowly get rid of his whole stuff. Treasure trash? That's kind of annoying. Yeah, treasure trash is a little bit annoying, right? Because he could get a he could get answers to, to our units now. Yeah, actually, treasure trash is really annoying. Because you could potentially find him the answer. Now we do have Another Lee Sin in our hand. I guess technically we have two Lee Sins, and one of them is actually discounted. Because it was the Lee Sin that we bounced back. The fact that... Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he hasn't used a single spell from the Treasure Trash was a little bit awkward there. But yeah, GG's. That was, that was fun. You can kind of see the power of this deck if you can get both champions in the field, how easy it can be. And Avid Dragon made a big difference. But yeah. So in this matchup... We'll be going up against Pantheon Yumi. Now, we do have some concussive poems. Just to know if it's going to be enough. Um, hmm. I think I need to try to see if I can have Mulligan for either Eye of the Dragon here or Victor. Okay, we get both. We get all our champions, actually. Uh, the Knight is pretty good at stopping stuff like Concerted Strike from killing us. Probably means Mountain Go, right? We don't have a way to stop the Mountain Go right here. So he'll, he's going to get the value from the Mountain Go without us being able to do anything about it. Yeah, there you go. So he'll be able to just do this on like a Wounded White Flame and call it a day. Uh, we could do the time check right now, to be honest. Might not be bad. Let's see if we can find something better. Mystic Shots. It's not horrible, right? Mystic Shot can do against the Mountain Go. The problem is the Wounded White Flame, right? It's going to get buffed up by the gem right here. Wow. He wants to keep the mana. He wants to keep the mana to do something like Concerted Strike right here, I guess. Which is why it's good that we get the Mystic Shot. Okay, well, we still die to like a single combat then. Still die to a single combat. Um, I guess technically we don't die. Because we can do the Twin Disciplines right here. We do the Twin Disciplines. Saving this. We get a blocker for next turn now. Forces him, this forces him to have to have something else later on. Unfortunately, the, the card that we got was Impact. Sorry. The, the thing that we got was Impact. Which is pretty darn useless, right? But we have a blocker for the Mountain Goat. We have blocker for the mountain go. We have a mystic shot for the second mountain go. Yeah, quick attack is not bad actually. If we get challengers, that's not bad at all. Um, I just hate the fact that we're gonna have to take that eight damage. I think. Can we just do this now? Uh, da, da, da. Do we do it like this? But again, if he has single combat again, if he has a second single combat, then we lose the victor. I think, I think I'm willing to do this. I think I have to get rid of the mountain goat. This is problematic, though. Ooh. All right. 
This is problematic because we go really low on health here, especially now that he was able to save the mountain goat. Uh, we, can, we can try to see if we can get the... Like we can try... Uh, we could have gone for Lee here, to be honest, but I think it's too early for Lee. We can try to see if we can get the quick the challenger, sorry. Okay, we get Overwhelm. Not bad. Not, not, not the best. Not the greatest. Um, we don't even get the heal here. Kind of just like the Ballistic, to be honest. I don't hate the Ballistic. If he has like a Rally, that's a problem too. So we, we just lose. Well, no, it's not a problem because he doesn't have... This is this doesn't have Overwhelm. I think we're fine, right? As long as we keep the Lee Sin leveled up, I think we're fine. This is gonna get the problem is that this is gonna get the uh, the spell shield right, making it really awkward for him to kill this. Yeah, he's gonna get the spell shield. Hmm. Am I okay with this? Am I okay just taking this damage like this? I think I am. I think I am. I think I don't mind this damage. I think we just do Lee. We'll do Lee here. As long as he doesn't have the overwhelm, I think I'm okay. Now, the rally here is kind of annoying, but we have plenty of things to save us against that. I think we don't tap out of deny, though, right? We have to keep the deny mana up. It means that we don't get the... We don't get the drone, fortunately, but I think that's okay. As long as we have deny, we should be a good spot. As long as he doesn't have the overwhelm, we should be okay there. I wonder if it's worth it to play Victor. I think Victor is fine to play next turn. I think we just slowly do this. I mean, sorry, we play Victor this turn because he will trigger the eye. But as long as we have enough mana for the eye, the, uh, enough mana for the deny, I don't see how he wins. This is gonna level up Victor. He only has three cards. The spell shield is annoying. I don't think I don't think we care about the eye anymore. It's annoying to lose her, but we have blockers for everything else, right? We level up, we level up here the Victor. We keep the deny mana, which is the most important thing. We still have a Spear's Refuge as well, which will allow us to heal back up. So as long as we don't lose, as long as we still have the spell, she looks fine. We could potentially even get another eye right here. Don't mind the ballistic, but I think second Lee is actually better. Just in case that we ever lose the first Lee. I think as long as we keep the Lee, we're fine. We can block this with Ballistic Bot, have enough blockers for the other ones. If he doesn't open attack, we can just summon the Pearl Cannon instead. Pantheon. Oh yeah, I mean, this is fine. He's trying to just kill, right? We just do it like this. If he try, if he tries to do something like a pell cascade, we're okay with this. Oh wow! Let's do this first, just to give the list in the barrier, and then we'll summon the daring poros. Oh nice, spell shield is pretty good. We do the daring poro, daring poro. Opponent doesn't have Pantheon, so we're in a good spot. We have quick attack with this guy, so we can actually potentially kill his stuff. Because we have the spell shield here. We get the second eye. I'm definitely going to do the Victor first. Potentially get something else. Here we just, what? We just Spirit's Refuge this. 
I guess we don't have to. I mean, uh, actually, I kind of like the Spirit's Refuge. I like the Spirit's Refuge. It's a barrier, right? And we still haven't used the second spell, so Lee Sin is going to get barrier again. And we still have lifesteal, meaning that we'll be able to heal back up. Kind of annoying that he ended up getting this, though. Um, yeah, that's actually very annoying. I guess we'll just do the... Uh, I kind of want to keep the second lead for later, to be honest. I think we'll just do it like this. I think we just do it like this. We already used two spells, so we can still do the Out of the Dragon. I don't think we need to present lethal just yet. We have 17 HP. He only has one car. He needs to be at Sackly Pantheon for him to have a chance. And Pantheon might not be enough. We have a block. We have plenty of blockers. Pantheon might not be enough either. Although the Pantheon is going to come in very big. Right? The, pan the, the only way that the Pantheon wins is if he gets Challenger and he's able to like challenge the rest of our units as well, right? Challenger, Life Steal, Spell Shield, Augment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew we we're gonna. He, we knew he was gonna get it. So he got the Quick Attack and Challenger, which is what we we're talking about. That is kind of annoying. Um, we'll do this first. He didn't get the Scout, so he only gets one attack. He should go after the Victor, but we have the Twins to save it. We have ways to save the Lee Sin. He gets to heal all the way back up. Next time we try to kill the Pantheon. Through the quick attack. of Because Victor has Challenger and quick attack, right? Victor has Challenger and quick attack. So we're able to just kill the, the, uh, kill the Pantheon next time. By just attacking. No need to summon the Ballistic Bar. We'll do the Neandroid. We'll go like this. Go like this. I guess this is pretty much almost lethal, no? Again, this dragon is not a big deal. We go back to full HP. Doesn't have a way to save the Pantheon. That's one Pantheon down. Uh, do I need to do I need to play it? Do I need to keep playing it slow? I think we do. The overwhelm is really a, it's really a problem though. If he ever gets the Cine play here, that would be a problem. And okay, now that he did that, I think I'm go ahead and do this. Yeah, the other one would be a big problem because we don't have a we don't have any blockers. We don't have any blockers. We need to kill this thing like sooner rather than later. We don't have any blockers. This thing has 28th attack, so he'll always be able to kill us with a scenic blade. can block like this. He had deny. He does the sharp side. Okay, you know what? Like we, we kind of been playing with our food because I mean, like I said, like deny would have just killed. Let me ascend it. Play would have killed us already. We can now just kill that dragon. By the way, we have enough to kill the dragon next turn. And we do the second eye. And we go like this. All right. Took us a while, guys, but we got there, right? We got there. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not going to matter which way we do it. We just kill, kill, kill. This is a sack lethal here. We have enough with the resonating strike, and that's game. We were playing risky because we didn't get another like way to remove spell shield. If in a in a in a in a in a situation that we needed to surprise win or to stun the enemy, right? So 
Um, let's see how it goes. Yeah, GG's though. That was that was scary, but yeah, GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Caitlyn Esrua, which I think is gonna be very tough for us because they're gonna have like stuns and denies and like all that. I mean, sorry, they're gonna have like stuns and flocks and scorch earth. I think I need to look for my champions first. Or I have the dragon. Um, you know, that's that's the third champion of this deck. Fortunately, not Victor. If we're able to set up Victor early on, it's always better. Uh, we also don't have deny for their tribeam yet. A little bit unfortunate. I think we'll go ahead and do the eye of the dragon now, just so that we take advantage of the extra mana here. So that this turn we can just do the time trick. Let's go, go ahead and let's push our two damage here. Yeah, let's use the time trick now. Ooh, that's not bad, but I think the ballistic bot is better. Definitely think the ballistic bot is better. We just cannot summon the ballistic bot right now. We need the ballistic bot to start setting up stuff. Ah, uh, this is annoying. What we can do is just concuss a pawn, right? That way we have a blocker for the archivist. But I would have preferred to set up the Ballistic Bot. But this way we slow down their Caitlyn. Ooh, okay. And we can just set up Ballistic Bot now. So that's okay, right? We just set up the Ballistic. He's going to look to block this. That's why he did it this way. I think he's better. Now, we do know he's going to get another Static Shock, right? Like, he's going to get a Static Shock sooner or later. Do we let him... I don't want to let him get the value from Static Shock yet. I'm okay passing, I think. Kind of sucks, though, that we didn't get the value from Deep Meditation. Hmm. This is vulnerable to a flock play. We do this. I think we, I think we go ahead and do the dim meditation even for even for this much mana. Now we know here that he could get a second static shock. I think it's fine to do the dim meditation for 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 this much mana. Three, six, seven, eight. We're gonna have to just do Lee Sin next turn and try to kill the Caitlyn. I think I'm okay losing the eye. It's kind of annoying losing her, but we know he's gonna have a static shock, right? So he's probably waiting. They say ever victor instead of Lee Sin. It might actually be victor instead of Lee. I feel like I want to set up Lee Sin later on, but I mean, not having Lee Sin level up kind of sucks as well. But we don't have the spells required for us to uh, level up Lee right now. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, we'll have to like also have one more card that we have to spend, which is probably gonna be the Daring Portal, to be honest. Gonna flock this. So let's go ahead and do the head score upgrade now while we can. Wow. It's gonna thermo this. We know he has Static Shock, guys, so... Static Shock is kind of annoying. Yeah, there it is. But we can summon another Ballistic Bot right here. With the Calculated Creations. While also summoning another Poro to, be a, to serve as a blocker. And this is going to level up next turn. And now Lee Sing is leveled up. This is going to level up next turn as well. Making it ah, we have the deny So this is pretty good because now we have the deny for like everything else I'm always gonna willing to I'm always willing to block it No, 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 no We're gonna deny this. I don't want to put damage on this. I Want to force him to have to do something else here We have the twin Yeah Problem is that he still gets the flash bomb hits, right? Will this prevent the draw? 
We still kill the Kaelin. We level up the Victor here, making everything cost zero. And then next time we do Lee Sin. The only problem is that now we don't have um, we don't have the deny for a tribing, right? Opponent has used a, has used a lot of three cost spells, meaning that if they get a tribing, it's gonna be really unfortunate for us. Life steal is pretty good. He also needs to be careful about the ambush play. I think we definitely develop leasing first. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, I like leasing first. I like leasing first and using the uh, Victor spell to, to, to enable the leasing condition here. Now, Tribeam. Okay. If he gets greedy, we can ambush and win with Lee Sin. I mean, with, uh, with Victor. Okay, maybe we got greedy. Maybe we're the ones that got greedy. That's a pretty wide board. But he needs to be worried about Victor lifesteal. So... Let's do this. This means that if he tries to flock, right, he's not gonna kill us. And if he doesn't flock, Victor's gonna be fully healed next time. Right? Yeah. That means he has Scorch Earth, right? Do we need... So then we just do this, right? Now he gives us a blocker. Now he gives us blockers that we can use. Like he gave us the chance to have blockers. Even if he has the flock here, which is annoying. Okay, Scorch Earth, right? Like even if he has that, I think I'm okay with that, right? Just tank trick here. Let's skip. Okay, we ended up getting the calculated creations anyways. Your attack is obvious. I will not we'll block here, block there. We'll do it like this and just keep the loses back. No, I want to... I want to I wanna keep the mana to be able to defeat a tribe. Yep, there you go. That's what I wanted to keep the mana for, so that I could do this. Because if I did the calculated creations, I wouldn't have had the mana to be, to be able to do this. Oof. You really use triple stun, right? You shouldn't have a way to do anything else here. So I think we just go with the Neandroid. He already used triple stun. So I think at this point we just try to go for the Lethal. At most he can try to kill the Neandroid if he has a second Triving. That was a big Triving, by the way, that he just used. This is three, four, five, and this is another four. He goes, he goes down to, uh, do we threaten the ambush right here? Do we ever threaten the ambush right here? I think we do. I think we present lethal. I think we present lethal first. I think we present lethal because we have the sonic wave to push the Neandroid for the last three pieces of damage that we need, right? He needs to spin a card to deal with the ambush there and then go from there. So yeah, there you go, GG's. The combo ended up working out. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Victor Riven. Now, ooh, they might go a little faster than us. Now we do have stuns. 
Now we do get the victor, which is pretty good. Double ballistic might be a little bit too much. Double ballistic might be a little bit too much since we have victor in our hand already. I think instead I want Eye of the Dragon. Beautiful, beautiful. Because now we Eye of the Dragon will be able to enable everything else. They started running this car. I don't know why. It's actually interesting that they started running that. We do Ballistic, right? Ballistic will enable, uh, give us the Ignition, which will allow us to enable the Eye of the Dragon next turn. Because we'll have Mystic Shot plus the Ignition, right? Oof. Are we ever doing the Pearl Cannon instead? Are we ever doing the Pearl Cannon instead? No, I think it had to be the eye. Well, I guess we could still do the pearl cannon in the ignition. But I think we always start with the eye. Probably don't want this guy to die. Oh yeah, okay. Well, he made it easy for us then, right? Made it really easy for us by doing that. Because now we just do this. And we do the ignition. I like doing the ignition now. Because next time we can discard the second ignition with the pearl cannon, right? So this at least enables um, for us to be able to do this. I'm going to go ahead and start putting the victor in the field. Again, we can discard this ignition using um, the pearl cannon, which will enable the eye of the dragon for zero mana. So we'll always have. Um, let's go ahead and do this now. There's nothing. There's nothing that I can get from 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 uh, head score upgrade that's gonna make me want to attack with victor. So maybe we should always open attack first, to be honest. Okay, he's gonna kill the eye. Uh, if that's the case, do we still do the Pearl Cannon? I think we still do, right? I think we still discard the Pearl Cannon right here. Even if we don't have the eye, uh, it's still pretty good. He also got that... He discarded a Ruin Reckoner. I think that's huge. We got the second eye anyways, okay. I think we first summoned the Daring Portal. Just so that this can block Ribbon. Now, he put, he has the full blaze fragments, right? So that's the only problem here. Yeah, he has all the blade fragments. So I guess, do we just do the... Uh, do we do the stun here, or do we take this damage? cannot take this damage. We have to stun, right? I mean, we could just take the damage and use the eye. I think that's fine, no? We use the eye right here and just heal it back up. He didn't commit that. We'll just do this and do the ignition. We almost have Victor leveled up. Actually, we can just level him. Oh, we get the scout. We have scout overwhelm. So if we, if we get the elusive or we get the quick attack, he's going to be in, pro in trouble. He's at 5. Uh, let's do Tearing Pearl, right? Tearing Pearl. This levels up the Victor. So now we get the uh, emission for free as well. We have the elusive units attacking. We still get the eye to trigger. Could potentially get something good here. Because we have the scout, um, we could potentially even go for lethal here by doing something like uh some cost of palm to get rid of the blocker. Opponent already used one get excited, but the problem is that I, I, I can't remember if the get excited was in the archivist. Oh wow. Yeah, okay, so we're going for lethal now. He has no way to stop this combo. So we can do ignition, palm, twin, right? To be able to push the lethal. I don't think he has any way to stop that. Because we always just block the ribbon. And we even have the elusives now. Because we have the scout and the overwhelm, we're able to push the damage through with the concussor palm. He even went ahead and, and, and went after the ballistic bot instead. Which is not a big deal for us. He discarded his Neandroid, so he discarded an elusive. The fact that we have spell shield is huge. Because he has to commit to killing the victor right now, right? He's gonna have to com he's gonna have to put the ribbon there. I know my 
So how do we do this? If we do this... He blocks like this. Oh, no. Uh, he definitely loses. If he blocks like this, he's 100% losing. Because we can cost a palm. Why? If you're gonna do if you're gonna give her plus two, I thought you were gonna do it so that you can sacrifice her into Victor. And he loses. Wow! This is a blowout. That's seven, and then he has no way to stop the overwhelm. We have the spell shield, and we win the game. We're also actually super wide. Woo! We got there. Oh, wow. Victor! This is a game where we didn't even nearly see him. Victor alone just kind of completely carried, huh? Victor and Ballistic Bot. Woo! That was close. That was spicy. Overwhelm Scout. Very good combination. And Spell Shield. <laughs> GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Seer Seraph. Kind of tired of all the Seers that I keep facing, to be honest, but this is what it is. It's the deck, right? Let's have a mulligan for either Eye of the Dragon, Ballistic Bot, Victor, or Lee Sin. We got two out of the four. Usually, that's what you're going to do. You want to have a mulligan for Lee, uh, Eye of the Dragon, Ballistic Bot, Lee Sin, or Victor. Uh, Ballistic Bot and Victor allow you to start leveling up your Lee Sin. While I have the dragon allows you to stall, right? So it's kind of like a, a, a combo piece right there with each other. Our problem here is gonna be Seraph. I think Seraph is gonna be way too way too much of a problem to deal with. Um, so I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with Seraph. This is also annoying now because obviously it means that our eye of the dragon is gonna get tagged. I guess we could tag the second ballistic bot here instead. Do we care about the Eye of the Dragon being the one that gets tagged? I don't think I do. I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay just going um, with the calculated creations and having another Ballistic Bot. And potentially just trying to play for like a way where we just burn the opponent down. Because he's still going to create the Eye, right? Which is all that we care about. We could also go for the Neandro instead, but I think... I think the Ballistic Bot is better and just slowly start burning the opponent down just so that we can level Lee Sin quickly. Like, these Ballistic Bugs are, are doing a lot. Problem here is going to be, now he gets a Seer or Sarah, which are both very problematic. If he does the Rite of Arcane, he's going to lose some mana, so I'm okay with that. And there's the Ambush. That's what I was looking for, right? Ah... Uh... No, I don't think that I don't think that's gonna work, my friend. We we'll just do this. Have the have the dragon links take up all the rolling sands, I guess. I don't think this is gonna work out for you, my friend. Now he could still try to do something else here. Like he could still technically do um the Rider of Arcane. Which is Okay, so this is gonna kill. I'm gonna do this instead. I was thinking that the demeditation was better. I think I'm just gonna do it this way. This is gonna kill. It's not gonna kill the eye just yet, because this is not high enough yet. Mm. Do we settle for the ambush right here? I don't hate it. I don't hate the ambush play right here, especially if the opponent taps out of. Uh... Why do it like this? If the opponent taps out of quicksand, I'm definitely doing the ambush. Problem is that he's not tapping out of quicksand, right? So his opponent's still playing like they have quicksand available, which is a problem. Which is a problem. But I think we just go for the ambush play. Even if he has it, he has it. I 
he has it, he has it. Otherwise, this is going to present lethal. He needs to have exactly quicksand here. Otherwise, this is going to be lethal next turn because of the two ballistic. And he has it. We also have the mystic shot available. Um, question is, do we save this ballistic bot? I think we should. But now I feel like we should just save this. Now we should just save the twin though. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. He had the quick sense, and now I don't see how we win unless we get Lee Sin here sometime quickly. And just like uh just like we talked about, here's the Lee Sin. If he's if he gets there seer, we're in trouble. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. Let's do Lee Sin right now. With five mana. I'm trying to think what he could have. And I can I'm, I'm doing a blank, right? Now we are gonna lose the eye here. But the idea is that we're gonna try to just finish him off with ignitions plus twin discipline to be able to just kill stuff. Okay, so he gets the SC. Um So he levels everything up. We lose the eye of the dragon here. We lose the eye of the dragon. He does five to us. He does five to the least sin. We can sacrifice the ballistic bots here. We can open attack with the twin. He will need to have another quicksand. He will need to have another quicksand to really present any 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 threat to us, because he's only dealing five. So he's gonna deal five to least sin. But it's not going to be enough. Yeah, be my guess, man. I, I don't care about the attacks. Let's go ahead and kill both of them, I guess. Um, there's no reason not to. The opponent shouldn't have any way to do one damage pain. What we don't want to do is put any damage on the least Sin. Which is what the opponent was trying to bait us into doing. And then what we need to do is be able to kill, like... One of their units very quickly. Now we don't have the lethal just yet, technically. Yeah, that's what we talked about. It's gonna hit the least sin. Should we search? Should we search and then go from there? This is six. But we lose the ballistic bot. Let's search first. Mystic is huge. I think Mystic is going to be more important than... Uh... What we can do is that we can bounce this back. We can bounce this back and force him to have to spend 3 mana to replay him. We could have also attacked with the other... No, because he has another FC on his hand anyways. I want to force him to have to spend mana replaying Seraph and having because he, he we know he has another Seraph in his hand, so he has to spend mana to place replay Seraph and has to spend mana playing the Rat of Arcane, right? We have a stun for next turn. He's gonna do Rat of Arcane to kill one of the ballistic bots. But if he taps out of enough mana, yeah, there it is. Still down to 2 HP here. He kills Lee. He doesn't have enough mana to survive anymore because he just tapped out of Viral Negation. And then we just Mystic Shot and win the game. Woo! The burn can add up very quickly. The burn can add up very, very quickly. And opponents, is, you know, opponents are not playing around that, so yeah. Yeah, GG's. There you go. Ooh, that was that was spicy one though. GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Ooh. Cillian Echo. Huh. Now we do run the nice, which are pretty good against their um chrono break. We don't run any Nopifies though, which is not great, right? Let's see if we can get the ballistic bar. I like keeping Lee, I like keeping the eye. Okay, there we go. We also get a ballistic bar. So, um, oh, that's not that's not bad at all. My plans 
So Ballistic Bot will allow us to start leveling up that Lee Sing pretty quickly. Our Dragon will allow us to defend against his stuff going quick, right? Uh, this is actually not bad either. This is not bad either, to be honest. Oh, that's a low roll. Uh, that, that sucks. That's a, that's kind of like a low roll. <laughs> kind of feel bad for him. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually really annoying. Let me just do this for now. Whatever he got there, he cannot play. So he can attack here. Let's just do the ignition. We'll do the ignition now, even though Tenek is not triggering the eye, just so that, you know. Let's see what let's see what he discarded here. Oh, Absorber. Okay, so we know he's going to have Absorber in his hand. Um, that's a really good thing to know. We're going to go ahead and... I like the second Ballistic, actually. Because I think I want to level up. I want to turbo level this in. But, so I think the second Ballistic is actually pretty good. And we can just do the Ignition here. And now the Eye of the Dragon is going to be triggered. Unless the opponent has double Mystic Shot. But if he's doing double Mystic Shot here. He's not doing Mystic Shot to the face. He also still hasn't had. He hasn't predicted once by the way. So he's still in a good spot. Still hasn't predicted a single time. Do ignition here. Why don't we do the pearl cannons instead right now? I kind of like keeping the pearl cannons as like a way to trigger, like to trigger the barrier on the sin. I think we just do this. If he wants to take it slow, we can take it slow. As long as we don't tap out of the eye, I think we're in a good spot. We just do Lee right here and start killing the boys of the Risen. Okay, so he got the first predict. Because we can level up Lee Sin here with the Pearl Cannon. Plus the Ignition. This is adding, this is a lot of chip damage that the opponent's taking. Maybe we just don't even maybe we just don't even attack here. Yeah, if he wants to burn five damage, five, five mana, I'm okay with that. Like I'm, I'm completely fine taking it super slow. Again, we have the deny. Like I'm, I'm so okay taking it slow. Doesn't really matter to me. I find like the deep meditation is actually pretty bad right now though. He's down to he's down to 13 health already, and this thing is leveled up. We do have to play one more card though, so for us to not burn any cards. So which card do we play? This this is pretty much over, right? He hasn't leveled up Echo yet. Three, six, seven. We get Yeah, this <laughs> This is a pretty 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 bad game for opponent. The problem is that even if he had the echo or anything else, we have enough ways to deal with it because Heck, we even have like bat like the lifesteal barrier, right? So the spirit's refuge to be able to block the echo and just kill him. So yeah, GG's. Hey, welcome back everybody. Hope you enjoyed those games. Uh you can kind of see what I mean about this deck kind of being really fun to play. Uh there's a lot of decision points that you have to make, and even though you don't get the power of the overwhelm from Lee Sin, you're still able to get a lot of value here from just Victor and Lee Sin, both being such good value engines. That can do a lot of damage to the opponent, right? And the rest of your ballistic guy, the dragon. Like these two, two, these two drops are so good, right? It's one of the best PNC two drops, one of the best Ayana two drops, and you can play them both in the same deck. What else can you talk about, right? Uh, in terms of Mulligan, I definitely keep Ballistic Bot, Eye of the Dragon, and definitely Victor. And a lot of times I will also keep Lee Sin, depending on the rest of my hand. But for sure, Victor, Ballistic Bot, Eye of the Dragon are the key cards that you want to Mulligan for. If I don't see these cards in my hand, I'm mulliganing everything away anyways to try to get one of those because they will enable me, they will enable the rest of the deck for us. So that's kind of my my spiel in terms of what you should mulligan for. Anyways, hope you enjoyed those games. I hope you enjoyed this deck. Again, we're going to continue playing this deck. Probably going to play it on a Twitch stream. So if you want to catch us playing this deck a little bit more, you can catch us on Twitch at Twitch September. We'll be streaming three to four times a week. Uh, if, you, if you enjoy this content, then please make sure to sub below. We post LOR videos every single day. And you can also find us on Twitter and Discord. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.